Hey second grade, have you been working on your passion project for a while and you are ready to start um, putting together your final project that you are going to share with others? Well, I am going to spend today showing you what apps you could use to showcase your passion and where you can upload it. Now that being said, this is not due yet. So you, if you are not ready to do this, you do not have to. However, some of you might be taking pictures and videos at this time to show your process and you want to put them somewhere. So I'm going to show you some apps you can use. Now, some of these apps you might have heard of, some of them you might not have. That's okay. So you're going to go to your inquiry class. We're already in it. You're going to go to classwork. Then this top app, or this top um, tab, used to say Passion Project Padlet because that's the only thing I shared in it. Now, there's more resources that are coming out that I want to share with you, and I thought it would be nice if we just had one place for them so you wouldn't lose them anywhere. So I changed this tab to Passion Project Hub, and I'm leaving it at the top of our class so you'll always be able to see it right away when you click on Classwork. Here's our Passion Project Padlet. That was a resource that helps you learn more about your passion, but we in this project, or in this video, are talking about how to show your passion to others. So, you're going to go to Passion Project Support. Ms. Groff made this for us to show us the apps that we could use to make our final project. So you can use a picture collage if you have a lot of pictures you want to share. You can make a video creation if you're doing a how-to video or if you are um, doing some other type of video. You can do a slideshow presentation. This is nice if you have a lot of pictures or if you have videos and pictures that you want to share. You can make a whole neat slideshow. You can use either of these um, apps. You can also go to animation creation apps which are really fun or you could use a book creation app which is something that we use when we were using our natural I'm sorry making our natural disaster project so if you enjoyed that or if you didn't do that option for that project you might want to look at that. It's fun because you can do a lot of things with it. So those are ways that you can um, show your passion to others. Now, I'm going to let you explore this a little bit more on your own, but let's say you are finished with your project and you want to share it with others. You're like, how can I, yeah, we made this project, how do I share it now? Well, I'm super excited because we, as a class, have our very own website. And I'm going to show you what it looks like and how to upload your uh, projects. Sir. So, here is our website. Now you might be like, wah, wah, this is boring. Yeah, it's boring because there's none of our passions yet. We're going to add those on. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do this if you would like to do it on your own. So you can click on a layout. And right in this circle plus sign is where you are going to put your project. So you can upload it off of your iPad or your um, computer. You can select images, or you can find your project in your drive if it's there. You could also upload YouTube videos if you made a video. Or, I know in the other second grade class, one of our friends made a whole YouTube channel and was sharing his YouTube videos on the website, which is super cool. Now, I am going to use part of Camila's project to show you how to do this. So I went to my drive because that's where it is. And then I click on the video and I inserted it. And right there you can see her project. Now when you, if you do decide to do this on your own, I want you to put your name on top and then in the second box you are going to um, write a little bit about your project. Maybe you're going to tell me about why you like this passion or why it is your passion or maybe how to do the passion, okay? So you're going to type that into your box. If you're a little confused on that, we can talk more about it right um, in the future. In fact, we will. I just want to show you how to upload things onto our site right now. Now, maybe you have more than one um, 
video or image that you want to share with us and you need more boxes. Well, you can use any of these other layouts to do that. I just ask that you don't use this layout because there's no text boxes and um, I want you to be able to write your name and a little bit about your passion, okay? Which brings me to another point. When I clicked on this, you'll see that there's two of them, okay? You're only going to have one layout per person, so I'm going to delete that. Um, so yeah. If you would like to do this on your own, you are going to send me either a message on Google Classroom, ask me on Zoom, uh, maybe dojo me if you need to, to ask for permission and then I'll share it with you. If you decide to do that, you will find your um, you will find our website in your Google Drive. Now I'll show you how to get to that app. This is the app right here. It's that triangle with the yellow, blue, and green sides. It also says Drive underneath it. You're going to click on it, and then you will see our um, website right here. You can see the little Our Passion part on top. You will click on it and you'll go to Safari and you will open it up there. It might ask you to put your email address and password in, which you know how to do. So, um, and then I'll take you right there. Now, another suggestion I have, so you don't lose it once I share it with you. If you click on these three little lines right there, there will be a spot where it says star. Now, mine's already starred. Mine's already started and I unstarred it. If you click, who I'm doing too much right now. If you click on that star, then it'll show up in your starred apps or your starred um, Google Drive sites and stuff like that. All right, now I just want to share with you one more thing. You do not need to start doing this. I do not want this to overwhelm you. So if you're not ready for this yet, don't do it. Also, if you are ready for it, but you're not really sure how to upload it to your site, there's two things you can do. One, you can just send me your um, project and I will upload it. Or two, you can have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session with me and we can upload it together, which could also be fun. So just one more time, do not freak out if you're not ready for this. Most kids are probably not ready for it anyway. I just wanted to share it in case you are ready.